I would like to welcome uh, all of you to, to this event. This is the first open innovation event that we organize in EIT Raw Materials. And I think if I can say one word about this, this is an opportunity for all of us. I think it's a great event. We have uh, we have many uh, customers here, many contacts. I've been in some uh, uh, sessions where I saw very lively uh, this, this, this discussions going on. So people really find each other here and, and are able to have very open uh, conversations about uh, about subjects uh, which are on their mind. When we get the science and industry and also the funding agencies together, it's always a good potential to start building the bridges, even if they wouldn't have been existing yet. good place to find out where the next thing is going to come from. You know, when you have startups, when you have research labs, when you have companies presenting what their ideas is, what they want to invest in, uh, what they want to transform into products and services. Visiting a BSF, uh, the main site, has been a blast. It's been amazing because you really have the feel for what BSF means in terms of company structure, knowledge, and, and it's, been, it's been really great so far. The impression is really great. You know, I feel that this kind of interaction between researchers, startups, and then big industry, big industry that will really realize those innovative ideas is what we need. You know, the EIT raw materials depends on such events to take place. And I'm absolutely amazed that BASF, what BASF has put up for us here and how many staff members from BASF are attending here. The existing way of doing business requires uh, a level of competitiveness for European nations to cooperate and European companies to cooperate a, a bit more effectively. We need the transfer of the right information between the right groups in a timely fashion. BASF. We create chemistry.